Welcome to the Zagers Pool and Spa Education Series. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your PowerClean filter and pump. The PowerClean filter comes with two boxes for assembly and only works with a dual port pump, like the one shown here. There are two types of PowerClean filters. They come in DE and cartridge. And there's three different sizes to choose from based on the size of your pool. The nice thing about the PowerClean filters is that they're all set up the exact same way. So we're going to show you the cartridge filter option today. Okay, let's get started by securing the filter to the base that's in box two. Remove the top of that black diamond cartridge filter and then take out the cartridge itself. And then we're going to identify the proper position of the filter onto the base. And so we're going to look at those different outlets on there. And the one that says drain needs to face the back. So that's our first clue. And then we need to make sure that the outlet that says from pump is on the base in a very specific way so that it can connect to the pump that rests next to it on the base. Now you can see the proper positioning here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take bolts with the washers that are included in box number two and we're going to put those in the two slots on either side of that filter. We're going to put those in there and then secure it with by screwing on a nut on the back side. Now a socket wrench would be very handy in this type of scenario. And the next step is installing the bonding plate to the pump. So the pump that we used in this situation is a simple blue, simple clean energy pump. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and place it down next to the filter here and then remove the plug on the side and insert that bonding plate. That goes on there along with a washer on the outside and then we're going to put a nut on the outside there to secure it. Click on the link to the video for more details on this step. Now it's time to install the tank inlet valve to the pump. So before we get started, this is a valve lock and it secures to the top of the valve when you're not using it. But when you twist and open up a valve and you want to make sure that it stays securely in place and never closes unintentionally, you put that valve lock in place there. Okay, so the tank inlet valve has the green handle and we're going to go ahead and wrap it with Teflon tape that is also included in box two. This tape is going to give it an extra secure fit when screwed into place in order to prevent leaks. Okay, so we're going to use the side of the pump that's going to connect to the cartridge filter. It's going to take a little bit of muscle to get those last few times around. And you're going to want to end, obviously, with the valve in the upward position. So you'll see that as we get at that last final push. And we're good to go. All right, now we're going to put the pump and filter together. Notice on the inside of this connection there's an o-ring. When there's an o-ring there's not a need for Teflon tape. And we're just going to go ahead and screw this into place and you'll have your secure connection there. The next step is securing the pump to the base. Okay, so much like when we secure the filter to the base, we're going to put in a bolt with a washer on both sides of the pump and push those down in there. Um, as a side note, there are extra bolts, washers, and nuts that come with the package. So just because you don't use them all does not mean that you did it wrong. <laughs> There's just the two slots there to secure the pump on this side of the base. So we're going to just go ahead and finish up the bottom there and we're on to the next step. Installing the waste port valve. So the waste port valve has the black handle. So once you find that, go ahead and get that Teflon tape again 
and we're going to wrap it around there for a secure leak-free connection. This is going to get screwed on to the back of the filter and it's going to be used, you're going to open up that valve when you backwash. So we'll get that on there and again we're going to use some elbow grease and screw that onto the back. Remember it says drain over the top of that area. Once again, as we get closer to getting that nice tight fit, we're going to want to make sure that that valve is in the upright position. Installing the first slide valve and hose adapter. Okay, you should have two slice valves left that have red handles on them. So go ahead and grab the first one, wrap that Teflon tape on it, and on the front of the pump is where you're going to add the first one. Secure it into place with the valve in the upright position. And then we're going to add an adapter. So basically this is where the pool connects to the pump. So we need a way of securing one of our hoses from the skimmer to the pump. And that gets screwed into place. And then we're on to the next step, installing the second slide valve and hose adapter. So the other adapter, grab that other, the last red handled valve and wrap it with Teflon and you should have a black piece that looks like this that's going to help connect that to the filter. And this slice valve allows you to then connect the hose back to the return on the pool. So we're going to use Teflon tape on this hose adapter just like we do on the other side. And then we'll connect this to the top of the filter. So we took the top off and we're going to connect it to the power clean side. And this one has an O-ring so there's no Teflon tape needed for this connection. Go ahead and screw that on until it's secure. And we are good to go. Insert cartridge and install connection hose. So we're going to go ahead and put the cartridge back into the filter. And it snaps into place. You'll hear it. And then we're going to go ahead and take that connection hose and secure it to the top of the pump. So the one outlet that's left on there. And then you're going to need to connect the hose to the top of it with the top off. It's just much easier than trying to secure it once that's, that lid is on. So now we can put the top on now that that hose is in place and then screw the lid on as shown here. And lastly we're going to attach hoses to the pump and filter. The first hose is going to go at the top at the filter. Make sure that you put the hose clamp over the cuff before you secure that in place. And then the second hose is going to go in the front of the pump there, again with that hose clamp ready to tighten down with a screwdriver. So basically the hose goes from the skimmer to the pump and the other hose goes from the filter back to the pool return. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us online at www.zagerspoolspa.com.